Well, as the temperatures plummet across the bluegrass throughout the day, the city of Lexington wants to keep everyone safe and make sure those in need have a warm place to stay. So the city has activ activated its emergency weather plan. WKYT's Mark Barber continues our top, top story team coverage with more on how warming shelters are preparing for the deep freeze. All the bets here at the Hope Center's emergency shelter are now taken as more and more people are coming in to escape the cold. So the center is now opening their overflow shelters for the people who are still looking for a warm bed. There aren't enough beds for everyone in the emergency shelter on West Loudon, so they are setting up beds in nearby churches. The center housed an extra 35 people last night, and as temperatures continue to drop, they expect to see another 25 people tonight. Many of the eight emergency shelters and warming centers across the city are also full. The Catholic Action Center says they are opening their building at 5th and Chestnut Street as an overnight warming center because the community in on Winchester Road is at capacity. Because the city's emergency weather plan has been activated, shelter hours have been extended, and Lextran is offering free rides to homeless shelters for those without transportation. Lewis Frazier says he and many others depend on these shelters to survive the bitter cold. Some people die out there, you know. They, they can't get no, no blanket, no nothing. They, they get up under a, a bin or something, and police wouldn't help to bring them in and keep them warm. The emergency shelter here at the Hope Center is open year round, but many of the emergency shelters that are operating on extended city hours will be open through Friday. City leaders say if the cold weather extends through the weekend, they will consider extending those shelter hours even further. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT.